you read the title right. We are taking a good look at different screen types that you can get right now. Stay tuned to find out which one's the best for you. First up, TN panels. TN stands for Twisted Pneumatic. These panels are loved by gamers for their blazing fast 1 millisecond response times, and TN panels reduce ghosting and provide smooth gameplay. They are especially popular among professional FPS gamers for their performance and affordability. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. TN panels fall short in color accuracy and viewing angles. You'll notice color and brightness shifts if you are not directly in front of the screen, which makes it a terrible choice if you want a multi-screen setup or if you need to work on color critical tasks. However, if you prioritize performance over color position and you're on a budget, a TN monitor is your go-to. Next up, we have the IPS panels or in-plane switching. What sets them aside? Well, IPS panels are renowned for their stunning color accuracy and wide 178 degree viewing angles. Perfect for designers and photographers. These monitors allow you to view your work without any color shift, no matter where you're standing. But of course, it's not perfect. We have IPS glow, where you might notice a slight glow around the corners if you're using it in a dark room. This is caused by excess backlight bleeding through the panel. It's not a deal broker for most. It's more of a minor annoyance, but it's still something to consider. Plus, they don't match the contrast of VA panels. But hey, they're getting there, as mini LED or other backlighting solutions will significantly give it more contrast. Of course, this solution is more expensive. Before we move on to the next type of panel, it's also worth noting that IPS is known by many names since different manufacturers have developed their own versions, each with unique characteristics. Here are some of the different versions you should know. We have PLS or plane to line switching, which is Samsung's take on IPS technology, focusing on enhancing image quality and color accuracy. We also have AHVA or advanced hyper viewing angles developed by AU Optronics. AHVA panels are designed to offer improved viewing angles and color reproduction. And next up, we have AAS or azimuthal anchoring switch, which is created by Innolux and these panels aim to provide sharper images and better viewing experiences. ADS, or Advanced Super Dimension Switch. This is BOE's version, known for its improved contrast and a more rigid and durable build. Lastly, we have IPS displays developed by LG. And let me tell you, they developed a ton, including standard IPS, AH IPS, and Nano IPS, which allows for more vivid colors and IPS black offering deeper blacks and higher contrast ratios. We also have VA or vertical alignment panels. VA panels boast superior contrast ratios, making blacks deeper and whites brighter. However, VA panels do have a trade-off. While their specified response time may be comparable to an average IPS display, they exhibit a slower transition from black to white. This can result in noticeable black smearing or ghosting in fast-moving scenes, a point of concern particularly for competitive gaming. Hardcore FPS players often prefer IPS or TN panels over VA for this reason. But it's not all about gaming. For general users and movie enthusiasts, VA panels are an absolute bliss. The high contrast ratio and deep blacks make them ideal for watching movies, especially in dimly lit environments where the depth of blacks and shadow details can really stand out. This is why many high-end LED TVs prefer VA panels over IPS. But hey, Samsung's latest VA panels used in their Odyssey line of gaming monitors have made significant strides in reducing response time, boasting speeds that compete with some IPS models. So overall, if you spend a ton of time watching YouTube or Netflix instead of gaming, I highly recommend getting a VA panel. Although as I mentioned, if you really want to play games with a VA panel, you should try some of Samsung's Odyssey monitors. But wait, there's more. OLED panels. If you own an OLED TV or a smartphone that has OLED such as the latest iPhones and Samsung phones. Anyway, each pixel in an OLED panel emits its own light, delivering true blacks and fantastic contrast ratios. They don't need backlight like basically every other screen tech. They're fast, they're vibrant, and they don't suffer from backlight bleeding. The downside? Potential burn-in. 
and lower brightness levels compared to LED backlit panels. Of course, there are recent advancements in OLED screens such as the one found on the LG G3 TV which reached a 2100 nits peak brightness. But overall, if you just can't live without those perfect blacks and vibrant colors, I highly recommend getting an OLED monitor. Just take extra care so you won't get burnt in. And um, make sure to have some extra cash since these panels are usually more expensive. So there you have it. TN, IPS, VA, and OLED. Each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Remember, it's not just about panel types. Consider size, resolution, and refresh rate to find your perfect match. That's all for today, folks. As always, please consider subscribing if you like this video. Now, what's your preferred display type on your monitors, phones, and TVs? Let us know in the description below. But until then, this is Marty, and I'll see you in the next video.